in the name of allah the most merciful the most gracious may i request hafiz atiq sahab to please come and recite a few verses from the holy quran اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ويا قوم اوفوا المكيال والميزان بالقسط ولا تبخسوا الناس اشياءهم ولا تعصوا في الارض مفسدين صدق الله العظيم now the english translation of these quranic verses and o oh my people give full mayr and weight in justice and reduce not the things that are due to the to the people and do not commit mischief in the land causing corruption thank you jazakallah uh, honorable Fo- foreign minister islamic republic of pakistan maghdoom shah mahmood qureshi sir ambassador of china to pakistan his excellency mr nong rong governor state bank of pakistan dr raza bakir ladies and gentlemen on behalf of the state bank of pakistan i welcome you all at the inauguration ceremony for issuance of commemorative coin of rupees 70 on the occasion of 70th anniversary of diplomatic relations between china and pakistan let me share with you that this is the fourth coin of its kind on the subject of pak china relations the coin signifies the 70 years of true friendship between china and pakistan and all with a friendship that surely has no parallel in the history of pakistan ladies of ladies and gentlemen as has been the tradition the design of this commemorative coin is unique and symbolizes the love and affection of the people of both the countries towards each other to display the features of our commemorative coin we have a short video for you May I request to play the video please Thank you ladies and gentlemen I hope you like the the coin so may I now request honorable governor state bank of pakistan dr raza bakir to please please give his welcome remarks to this august gathering Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim honorable Shah Mahmood Qureshi sahib our foreign minister your excellency mr nong rong ambassador of the of china to pakistan respected delegates distinguished guests um welcome to the state bank of pakistan 
gives me immense pleasure in welcoming you all to today's launching ceremony of the commemorative coin to mark the 70th anniversary of the diplomatic relations between the People's Republic of China and the Islamic Republic of Pakistan. By the grace of Almighty, Pakistan and China enjoy close and friendly relations since the establishment of diplomatic channels in 1951. And Pakistan is proud to be one of the first few countries that recognized the People's Republic of China. The depth and strength of uh, our sincere friendship, based on mutual trust and respect, has been growing since its beginning in 1951. We really mean it when we say Park China friendship is deeper than the oceans and higher than the Himalayas. We are truly the all-weather friends, and this is a source of great pride to all of us. This issuance of the commemorative coin on the 70th anniversary of the diplomatic relations signifies and recognizes the feelings of mutual trust and respect that characterize our friendship. The People's Republic of China is the only foreign sovereign state where we are issuing commemorative coins for which is again a reflection of the value that Pakistan attaches to this friendship. The 70th anniversary of diplomatic relations between China and Pakistan marks the fourth such occasion where the State Bank of Pakistan is issuing a coin commemorating this friendship. Previously, such commemorative coins have been issued in 2009 to mark the 60th anniversary of the People's Republic of China in 2011 to mark the 60 years of diplomatic relations between Pakistan and China, and 2015 as, Park, as part of the celebrations of Pakistan-China year of friendly exchange. Pakistan-China relationship is a multifaceted engagement with growing bilateral trade and economic ties. China is Pakistan's largest trading partner and a major investor, especially in the energy and infrastructure areas. The bilateral trade between the two countries amounts to approximately 14 billion US dollars during the year FY 2019-2020. With the launch of the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, a flagship project of President Xi Jinping's One Road, One Belt initiative, this has further enhanced the depth and strength of our social, cultural, and economic relationships bringing the two countries even closer together. The Chinese investment in Pakistan's roads, communication, and energy infrastructure under CPEC is highly commendable. It's not only bringing the much-needed improvement in our critical infrastructure, but also linking China with the rest of the world through the shortest possible routes. CPEC is truly a game-changer project for Pakistan, creating huge investment, business development, and employment opportunities for our two countries. I will especially highlight the development of Gavadar port under CPEC, which will go a long way in creating business, trade, and employment opportunities in our two countries. And we are thankful to President Xi and the people of China for their trust and confidence in Pakistan. In addition to trade, China and Pakistan also enjoy a strong and growing banking relationship. And I'd like to say a few words about that. Banking is critical to support and facilitate trade and investment between the two countries. State Bank of Pakistan and the People's Bank of China have mutually beneficial and cordial relations developed over the years. Besides having correspondent banking relationships, both the central banks have currency swap arrangements to support the trade between the two countries. The Chinese government and authorities have also been extremely helpful in providing foreign exchange support to the State Bank of Pakistan and the government of Pakistan to tide us over the variations that we have experienced over the years in our balance of payments. Recently, one commercial bank in Pakistan, one of the largest commercial banks in Pakistan, has been allowed to open its branch in Beijing, becoming one of the three banks, one of the three banks in South Asia and Middle East and North Africa region to offer end-to-end -end RMB intermediation in China. This is a source of great pride 
for us. Furthermore, the Industrial and Commercial Bank of China and Bank of China have presence in Pakistan, which is likely to expand significantly in the near future as well. We are also partnering with the, with the, with the banking community in the two countries to learn from each other's experiences. And finally, on the banking side, in 2019, we invited Dr. Zhu Zhu Ziyok, former governor of the People's Bank of China, to give his lecture on lessons from the role of PBOC in China's economic rise at the 23rd Zahid Hussain Memorial Lecture Series at the State Bank in Karachi, which provided us deep insights about the Chinese Central Bank role in the miraculous development of China. This was the last such lecture series before COVID, and it's in memory of the first governor of the State Bank of Pakistan. Ladies and gentlemen, the way China has managed and contained the spread of COVID is an excellent demonstration of its capacity to manage crises like COVID, the largest economic and financial crisis since World War II, according to the IMF. It also shows the commitment that the Chinese government has towards the health and safety of its people. During the ongoing COVID crisis, China stood with Pakistan like a sincere and dependable friend and provided much needed technical and financial assistance to Pakistan, for which we are grateful to our all-weather friend. Excellency, it is our great pleasure that you have graced the event to launch the coin, which will be available for public issuance from the State Bank offices today. Thank you. Thank you, Governor Sir, for your th thoughtful remarks. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, now I would invite His Excellency, Mr. Nong Rong, the Ambassador to Pakistan from China. His Excellency, Mr. Shah Mahmoud Qureshi, Minister for Foreign Affairs. His Excellency Dr. Reza Bakir, Governor of State Bank of Pakistan. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It is my great pleasure to participate the inauguration, inauguration ceremony for insurance of commemorative coins on 70th anniversary of diplomatic relations between China and Pakistan. I would like to thank the Pakistan government to initiate this wonderful idea. My thanks also go to His Excellency, Mr. Shah Mahmood Gracie, Minister for Foreign Affairs, and His Excellency, Dr. Reza Bakir, Governor of State Bank of Pakistan, for your long-term support to China-Pakistan friendship and cooperation. Last month, the two countries released the commemorative postage stamp to celebrate the 70th, 70 year of diplomatic ties from the stamp to the coin. These new symbols of friendship send a strong signal to public that China-Pakistan unique friendship can be reflected in all aspects of our bilateral cooperation. And His Excellency just mentioned this coin is the only one between China, all over the world that Pakistan uh, settled a coin like this. China and Pakistan are all weather strategic cooperative partners that stand firmly by each other on issues of core interests and major concerns. The mutual trust and friendship between the two countries have gone through the test of 70 years of international changes and remain rock solid. It has become the most valuable strategic assets of the two peoples. Under the leadership of President Xi Jinping and Prime Minister Imran Khan, we are working together towards the goal of building a closer China-Pakistan community of shared future in a new era. In recent years, the financial cooperation between China and Pakistan 
has deepened and expanded, playing an important role in promoting trade and investment between the two countries, supporting CPAC cooperation, facilitating people-to-people -people exchanges. China has also tried its best to support the financial stability of Pakistan and help Pakistan to safeguard its national interests in mutual lecture, uh, multilateral forums like FATF. China stands ready to further deepen our cooperation in the financial sector. 2021 is a year of great significance for both China and Pakistan. China celebrates the 100th anniversary of the founding of the Co Communist Party of China and is implementing the 14th five-year plan to embark on a new journey of modernization. Pakistan is making every effort to develop its economy and realize the Naya Pakistan vision proposed by Prime Minister Imran Khan, providing us with new opportunities for China-Pakistan cooperation. Standing in a new historic starting point, China will continue to put Pakistan on the top agenda of its diplomacy, work together with Pakistan for common development, make joint efforts in building a closer China-Pakistan community of shared future in a new era. Ching Pak Dosti, Jindabad. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ambassador. It is indeed a very encouraging uh, to know that Pakistan is the only country in the world which has issued a currency to commemorate this great friendship. Uh, may I now request Honorable Foreign Minister of Pakistan, Magdoum Shah Mahmood Qureshi Saab, to express his thoughts to the audience. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Dr. Raza Bakr, Governor State Bank of Pakistan, Ambassador Nong Rong, Senator Faisal Javed Khan, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, Islam Alaikum. I'm pleased to participate in the inauguration ceremony for the issuance of commemorative coin on the occasion of the 70th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between Pakistan and China. I appreciate the State Bank of Pakistan for organizing this event and commend Pakistan Mint for designing and minting this commemorative coin. The coin's denomination has been kept at 70 rupees, which is an apt reflection of the 70 years of our all-weather, time-tested and brotherly relationship. China-Pakistan relationship is unique in the world. Our historic ties stretch over the span of millennia. Historically, academics, monks, travelers, and traders frequently traversed the stretches of the trans Karakoram tracts and laid the foundation of this fraternal bond. Over the last seven decades, this time-tested relationship has flourished from strength to strength, unaffected by the vicissitudes of time and changes in the regional and global environment. Unrelenting efforts of the successive generations of people and the leadership of Pakistan and China have transformed this relationship into an all-weather strategic cooperative partnership. Distinguished guests, Pakistan and China steadfastly support each other on the issue of core interests. 
Pakistan adheres to one China policy and supports China on issues such as Xinjiang, Hong Kong, South China Sea, Taiwan, and Tibet. China has stood by Pakistan in supporting our key strategic, economic, and developmental priorities. Maintaining its principled stance, China has unwaveringly supported Pakistan on the Jammu and Kashmir dispute. China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, CPEC, brought this relationship to new heights. After the successful conclusion of its first phase, CPEC has entered into second phase with focus on industrial cooperation, trade, agriculture, and socio-economic development. Groundbreaking of the Russia Kai Special Economic Zone last month has the potential to spur industrialization and enhance our exportable surplus. In the wake of emerging global and regional environment, Pakistan has recalibrated its priorities from geopolitics to geoeconomics. China-Pakistan Economic Corridor being the flagship project of the Belt and Road Initiative complements Pakistan's renewed efforts of geoeconomic shift with emphasis on economic integration and regional connectivity. Distinguished guests, for generations, Pakistan and China have had the fine tradition of standing by each other through thick and thin. After the outbreak of COVID-19 in China and Pakistan, both countries extended material and moral support to each other in their respective efforts to contain the pandemic. Our cooperation on vaccine is also progressing very well. China has gifted millions of doses of COVID-19 vaccine to Pakistan. Pakistan is also procuring Chinese vaccine on commercial basis. We remain grateful to the Chinese government and the people for their steadfast support, which has been instrumental in saving precious lives in Pakistan. Pakistan has robust engagement with China in economic and financial sectors. Second phase of China-Pakistan Free Trade Agreement signed during the Prime Minister's visit to Beijing in 2019 has been operationalized since the 1st of January 2020. Second phase of FTA has the potential to enhance Pakistan's exports to China. To facilitate financial transactions and arrangements, Pakistan has also uh, has um, currency swap agreements with China. We have robust cooperation in the banking sectors as well. Pakistani commercial banks have started operations in China. State Bank of Pakistan, as the regulator of the monetary and credit system of Pakistan, has a pivotal role in, uh, in further deepening this relationship. The impressive ceremony is part of a series of events spread over the entire year to celebrate the 70 years of Pakistan-China diplomatic relations. I wish to conclude by thanking everyone who worked to make this inauguration ceremony a success and thus contribute to a befitting commemoration of a key milestone in our journey together. I thank you. Thank you, sir, for your kind words. Indeed, Pakistan and China have stood together through every thick and thin. Uh, I would request the Honorable Minister to come here again and also Governor State Bank and His Excellency. Mr. Yeah.
Thank you, sir. Please stay here so we could have some memento presentations. I would request Governor State Bank to present a memento on this 70 years coin first, and then a small uh, token of uh, thanks in the form of a collection of uh, coins issued by the State Bank of Pakistan since its inception. Mm -hmm. So first, the commemorative coin uh, from the Governor State Bank will present it to the Foreign Minister, sir. Thank you, sir. Now I would request governor to give the same 70 years commemorative coin to the ambassador, okay. please. Please. And then, and then this collection of coins by the governor to the His Excellency. Thank you, sir. Uh, so now, with this, we come to the close of this ceremony. On behalf of the State Bank of Pakistan, I thank the Honorable Minister, the Ambassador, His Excellency Nong Rong, and all our respected guests for joining us today.